Hey guys, it's Nick from S here. Today I'll be discussing Starship Troopers Extermination, which fully released last month for next-gen consoles and Steam. I was offered a free review copy of this game from developer Offworld Industries, and I've actually been having a lot of fun with the game. Most of you should be familiar with Helldivers 2, and if so, you'll notice some interesting similarities as well as differences in Starship Troopers. So, if you're an Xbox player, someone looking for an alternative to Helldivers 2, or just a fan of this genre of games, this video is for you. You're probably thinking, well, I've never seen a Starship Troopers movie. Don't worry, neither have I. There is a single player campaign which includes the main character from the movies, but it serves as more of a method to get familiar with the game before playing with real players. Aside from that, the story is irrelevant to the multiplayer, and it's really just that we're in the Starship Troopers universe. It's a 1-16 player game, where you and a team of other space marines go onto an alien planet to harvest materials and vanquish insectoid bastards. It's fun, and mostly well made, but it definitely has some flaws. While it is more expensive in price than Helldivers 2, it feels cheaper in quality. The frame rate really starts to drop when the bug hordes roll up, servers are spotty and can be laggy at times, and I've encountered a handful of glitches already in my short time with the game. Helldivers 2 is much more refined and less repetitive to play, but it would be silly to make this video and not mention the similarities and differences between these two games. After all, both games involve galactic federations sending space soldiers across the galaxy to kill giant bugs. Most notably is the player difference. Helldivers only features 4 players in a match, while Troopers features up to 16 players in a single match. Personally, I prefer a smaller team, because having 16 people in one match makes it pretty easy to get lost amongst the chaos, and gives you less to do on your own since there's so many people killing enemies and working on objectives. For example, I'll go to help build the base, and by the time I get over there, four other guys have already built all the outer walls. Another notable difference is the perspective between these two games. If you enjoy third-person shooters with fluid combat and evasive measures, Helldivers is the game for you. If you prefer first-person shooters with fast-paced combat and familiar controls, Starship Troopers is the game for you. In Helldivers, you call gear you need from the dropship in battle, while in Troopers, you have a building system in which you build your bases, fortify them, and also craft gear like ammo crates and turrets. The building system is pretty user-friendly, and in the easier difficulties, the game gives you multiple chances to refill your ammo throughout a mission. Helldivers has Troopers beat when it comes down to enemy variety, as so far, Troopers only has giant bugs, where you can fight robots and bugs in Helldivers. I'd like to see Troopers introduce more enemy variants in a future update. I know there are different kinds of bugs, but a new enemy type altogether would be more interesting. But to be fair, I'm not familiar with Starship Troopers lore, so maybe there just isn't anything else to include. Easily one of the best aspects of Starship Troopers is that there are character classes. I found it strange Helldivers didn't include classes, but at the same time, they have their customization fully open, so your soldiers aren't limited to one or two gimmicks. Troopers has six classes. Two styles of Heavy Trooper, two styles of Assault Trooper, and two styles of Support Troopers giving you opportunity to try out different play styles and find which one is best for you, even within the subclass. I love the variety Troopers offers here. My personal favorite class so far is Ranger, one of the Assault Troopers. A jetpack? Hell yeah. I like what Starship Troopers is doing here. It's familiar enough to another popular game, which alone should be enough to bring in potential players. Included with that is the fact this is an IP game, which brings in fans of the franchise as well. Offworld Industries has done a good job marketing this game, and even given out free review copies to content creators for additional promotion. 
I wasn't paid for this. I just received a PS5 key of the game and was asked to make a video. Which is why I wanted to be honest and fair in this video. But overall, I do think this is a good game, and it has potential to be even better with future updates. I recommend you check it out if you get the chance. If you enjoyed Helldivers, chances are you'll enjoy this game too. Ultimately, Starship Troopers Extermination is a fun alternative to Helldivers 2. It has similarities, as well as its own fresh take on things, and with friends, there's definitely fun times to be had. I do think it could be a bit cheaper price-wise, but it's probably the licensing that led to the higher retail price. Let me know your thoughts on my comparisons in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Nickfamous, see you later.